I took my troubles down to Madame Rue. You know that gypsy with the gold cap too. She's got a pad down a pretty floating pipe, selling little bottles of love potion number nine. I told her that I was a flop with chicks. I've been this way since 1956. open up an orange or you peel a lemon and you see that do you know what I'm talking yes, about yes and then your hands kind of are sticky mm -hmm. and and they're not even sticky but kind of gummy yeah that's the oil when you go to, so okay. yeah so um, every so like um, frankincense it, obviously it doesn't have a rind it comes frankincense comes from a um, resin from a tree right yeah. so they get it from the resin okay but then like rose you don't get it from the whole plant you get it from the leaves okay so so you, you this would tell you where they come from where they're expressed yeah. and like one drop of lemon is the equivalent of uh, uh tell me i can't so remember you're it's probably a, thinking of peppermint is it peppermint that is so concentrated? Like well, they're drop? all so concentrated. Yeah. But to give yeah. you the idea how concentrated they are, and they just give this kind of um, ratio with peppermint, which is 28 cups of peppermint tea right. is equal to one drop of oil. Oh, wow. So when you think, you know, yeah, I'm going to have some peppermint tea to soothe my tummy, you know, which is what I've done in the past, right? Oh, it feels so good. And the warm water, of course, feels good. But but if you think, um, I could take one draught of oil. I didn't know if it was day or night. I started kissing everything inside. But when I kissed the cow down on 34th and right, he broke my little bottle of love potion number nine. So we're doing a fun class that's on the, and I have a hard time with this word, aphrodisiac, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Properties of essential oils. And these are the ones that have the like most aphrodisiac properties, most, um, most uh, for, on the emotional level emotional and relationship level. We're also going to do a DIY and that is um, this 10 reasons why I love you. Yeah. 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 And if you like at the end, we can make our own love potion number nine. Oh, okay. <laughs> Absolutely. And of course, you'll be choosing from these aphrodisiac, 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 yeah. aphrodisiac oils. But if you go in the book, then it tells you its properties. And it's really cool. So. And that's a good leading because we're gonna. I'm gonna pass around this one is um, that I made is Lang Lang. Mm. And Sally and I are each going to rotate wow. here and just go through and, and give you some highlights of each of the oils, the essential oils that have that. And if I can borrow back my yes. modern essentials. Okay. This is always yeah. like our, our guide, our cheat sheet, our Bible, our reference yeah. source. Because it, it's so good on... I took a drink I didn't know if it was day or night I started kissing everything inside But when I kissed the cow down on 34th and right He broke my little bottle of love potion number nine
Um, obviously, it's an aphrodisiac oil, or it's, we wouldn't be talking about it, but it's an extract from, the, uh, obviously, the jasmine flower. Um, and the jasmine flower, you can take, you can use it topically, aromatically, and internally. And um, there's multiple properties, multiple uses, primary uses for it. But one that I want to talk about today is, uh, is the aphrodisiac. Um, you notice that when you, you notice jasmine, if you're around it outside, you know when you're around it. It's just, it pulls you in and it just has this power, right? So um, that the historical uses of it is um, in India, it's the, called the queen of the night. And then, or the moonlight of the grove, um, but for years it's been known as the aphrodisiac, it's quoted here, aphrodisiac-like fragrance. So um, it's saying that you, and it's also um, for happiness and love, which is wonderful, right? So... Um, They're also saying that, um, I've never used it for that, you know, type. I just like the smell of it, so I'll put it on. Um, but it's, um, what am I going to say? Um, it's good to put on your reflex points on your foot. And I think what was saying here, um, yeah, you put it on the reflex point of concern. So if you have, like, a low libido or, you know, if you have any woman you know, issues, you can put it on that reflex point and it would help. loved to buy this from the grocery store in the past and I would you know they would sell it from Hawaii and it would always be so fresh and wonderful to start with and then I'd kind of forget about it I'd used it in my smoothie and then I'm like uh, go back to look at it and it's like you know a wet rag so yeah <laughs> this ginger it's like always fresh and available and from like the best sources oh. that they can find around the world and then it's mm. just less and less and less. They um, show that it has, let's see, the aromatic influence for uh, physical energy, love, money, and courage. And it affects the digestive system and the nervous system. Okay. So um, and it's interesting to think, like, hmm, that's an opportunity. You know, like, this is why there's quite a few different right. ones. Because maybe yeah. someone would say, well, that might be an aphrodisiac for you, but it's not necessarily for me. Or, you know, so sure. find, be thinking of which one you like the best, because then that's what you will put in your love potion. Oh, fine. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. I took my troubles down to my. You know that gypsy with the gold cap too. She's got a pad down a pretty floating vine. Selling little bottles of love potion number nine. I told her that I was a flop with chips. I've been this way since 1956. She looked at my palm and she made a magic sign. She said, What you need? <laughs> I don't even own rose oil. Me um, either. It's an oil that doTERRA does not sell. They've never sold it. It's only um, an incentive oil. 
So if you do certain things, um, then you can uh, win it, basically. So um, not many people have it, but a good portion have it. But rose is, um, you can also use topically, aromatically, and internally, which is really neat. And I know when I <clears throat> had my last couple babies, I so wanted that oil. And I was just like, oh, and there was a couple times I was just shy of getting that, you know, winning it, but that's okay. But um, they do offer the rose oil in Yes. Yes, I love the lotion. You can get it. So, um, the historical uses of it of rose is um, good for digestion, uh, menstrual problems, headaches, nervous tension, um, and then also I wanted to mention um, emotional balance and skin. So it's and then the other thing of the aromatic influence is it's stimulating and elevating to the mind, creating a sense of well-being. It's beautiful fragrant. It's almost intoxicating and aphrodisiac-like. So what's cool about the rose oil, and I don't know if you've had this experience when you've smelt it, you smell it and you just get chills through your body. It's so, like, your body's just like, I need it. I really? want it. It's really an amazing oil. Oh. Yeah, so I don't know if you've experienced that. But maybe it was when I was pregnant and I was like, give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah. That's, That's yeah. awesome. But it just, it's just um, an oil that's soft and but so powerful and very, I don't know, very subtly um, beautiful, I guess. Just very and different on each person. So. And doesn't it take like how many pounds to create like, it's like two a tons, right? To a create pedals? one bot one five ounce. Yeah. Really? That's right. right. Which is why it's so, so rare. Rare. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh my right? goodness. So it takes so many pedals. Wow. Oh mm -hmm. wow. Right. I know. And I what I love about doTERRA is that they won't oversource something. Yeah. They will, and when we get to sandalwood, well, next one is sandalwood when we talk about that. Yeah. That's a good point to bring up. Um, so doTERRA is very, uh, they've chosen to be very green, right? And the reason is because they don't want to go, um, I don't know a better, I don't know a better way to say it. And maybe I shouldn't say it, but they don't go kill the land. Mm -hmm. They don't go and like, oh, we're going to take all of this rose. They go and reseed and make sure that and replant, you know. Yes. And and then the so it's we're creating um, work for the families and the um, for generations to come, right? Mm -hmm. And by reseeding, we're not just taking it out and moving on. And going to the next property, taking it and moving on. We recede it, and it's a cycle. So it's just amazing yeah. that I noticed that I got uh, a, a message from DoTerra about balance. Mm -hmm. That they have switched out one of the oils mm -hmm. because one had gone on the endangered, mm -hmm. or I'm yeah. not sure what the word yeah. was, but they actually changed the formula. Yeah. So but you it's, want it's actually it. even better now that they said that they found with this new oil that it was even yeah more wonderful. So that it wasn't a problem, but I thought that right. was really impressive that yeah. they were concerned enough about that plant yeah. that they would, yeah. Yeah, right. and then nice. the other thing that we should note, and sorry I'm maybe be too wordy, but the other thing we should note is like if ever... They don't bring, so if peppermint were to come in and it didn't meet our standards, right? It didn't meet the CPTG standard, they send it back, right? Mm -hmm. um, but then also, if we couldn't find peppermint to meet our standards, 
they wouldn't sell it. They're never going to lower their standards, and that is a promise. And that's something, when you start using oils um, for long periods of time, you, you appreciate having that same peppermint all the way through. Mm -hmm. There have been other companies that had a great quality oil, but then it, they, couldn't, uh, they couldn't keep that quality. So they did things to the oil to... Um, make it go further. They put filler oils in it, mm -hmm. and you could tell the quality of the oil. And they, they wouldn't have a shelf life. And they don't have a shelf life, yeah. Because I used to, same with you, I used to think, oh, oils, you know, you have to put them in your fridge because they go rancid. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I used to think, because I had to put all, and I had them in my butter container, and that's where my oils went. But it went, now I know better. Now I know why. So. She looked at my mom and she made a mind aside. She said what you need is love potion number nine. She bent down and turned around and gave me a wink. She said I'm going to make it up right here in the sink. It smelled like turkey. small cooperative farm and the sandalwood trees it's sort of like if you go around you know cutting down the big cottonwoods here you're gonna you know how long would it take to create another you know grow that so they um, have done it in such a way that it is exactly what Sally was talking about in terms of the replanting and maintaining because they want this to be for generations to come not just for us to enjoy it which I really appreciate and there's this great video about about sandalwood and how they've sourced it in Hawaii and that's what this one is is Hawaiian sandalwood so mm. the um, body systems that it affects is the emotional system, muscles and bones, the nervous system, and skin. So it calms, harmonizes, and balances the emotion. And historically, it's been used as incense and for enhancing meditation. So, great. A little bottle of It's a strong oil that I cook with. I put it, you know, I put it on my Thanksgiving turkey. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Right. So, but um, if you think about it, look at how beautiful rosemary is. Can you see that? That flower? is nice about that. Look at that. Oh, this book is great. <laughs> right. This, Here's this is a great book. So they get the rosemary from the flowering plant, right? So, um, which is kind of neat that it's it's in its bloom when they when they get it. Right. 
Um, and I don't know if that means it's from the flower or while it's flowering. I don't, I don't know the difference. Um, but this one also can be used topically, aromatically, and internally. Um, it's a very strong oil. Um, its properties are, um, let's see, I probably won't read them all, um, antibacterial, antifungal, anti-infectious, anti-inflammatory. Um, and then the body systems, it's immune, it helps your immune system, respiratory, and your nervous system. I don't exactly know why it's um, <laughs> an aphrodisiac. <laughs> right, <laughs> when you read all the these things. <laughs> but it is somewhere. Somebody loves it. <laughs> right. <laughs> so put it on tonight. It might be. It might be you. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's smell it again. Maybe it's the chronic fatigue. <laughs> You're not tired. <laughs> I'm like, I'm stretching here. <laughs> um, no, but I would imagine that it just is probably balancing between the immune system and the, um, uh, the nervous system. It's probably just balancing and just aligning your body to work properly. Uh -huh. I took my troubles down to my you know that gypsy with the gold cap too She's got a pad down a pretty floating vine Selling little bottles of love potion number nine I told her that I was a flop with chicks I've been this way since 1956 She looked at my palm and she made a magic sign She said what you needed Black pepper Okay, this one, um, spicy and some of these I think are good to blend with others. Oh yeah, and oh, I like and that a lot more than I thought it would. Right. It's really cool because oh, in the yeah. <laughs> it doesn't make me sneeze, which right you know you would expect. Yeah. Right. It's from the berries, so I don't, you know, there again, like Dr. Hill will research and figure out what part of the plant, the bark, the leaf, the root, the berries, and so this affects, um, black pepper affects the digestive and nervous system. It's both comforting and stimulating. Mm -hmm. So you can apply it to reflex points, like we were talking about for the feet or the hands. Yeah. Also to um, an area of concern, and you can diffuse it as well. So it does say, you know, you can mix it very sparingly with juniper and lavender in a bath to help with chills or warm up in the winter, mm -hmm. which sounds fabulous. Yeah. Yeah. But it does say, like, you want to kind of watch, because some of them, like, you can have skin irritation. irritation. Yeah. So, like, in the back of the book, it will go through and let you know, like, aromatically, topically. And if there's some sensitivity, you can, like, child slash sensitive. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of watch for things like that, like the red color. Okay. Can My little grandson will call it... Oh, is that sparkly? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that's his way of knowing, like, peppermint is sparkly yeah. to him. Right. <laughs> that's a good way to put it. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know if it was day or night. I started kissing everything inside. But when I kissed the cow down on 34 and 5, he broke my little bottle of love potion number 9. So coriander is um, steam distilled from the seed. Uh, 
So this is the coriander plant. So they get that seed and then they steam. They have a process and big machines that they use to to have basically separate the the plant, the water from the oil, and the oil drips into the, the mat basically. Um, the coriander is really good for mussels. I know that. Um, and it's really good for um, um, hormonal issues. So um, this historically, the use was the Chinese have used coriander for dysentery, um, piles, measles, nausea, toothaches, and painful hernias. And, and, but digestion, digestive issues is a good one. Um, and uh, let's see, that blends well with uh, bergamot. So let me just tell you about coriander, because it's interesting. Like, smell it again. While I'm reading it, smell and see if you can pick out the tones that I'm going to tell you. <clears throat> Woody, spice, sweet, and then this is insensitive. Insensitivity or intensity. Intensity. <laughs> Can you smell the different notes? And yes. I, I wouldn't take coriander. I would think coriander would be more like um, oregano. Yes. That's or more what I was like thinking. rosemary, like a, yeah. a stronger smell, right? right? But it's very interesting, yeah. right? It's woody. Mm -hmm. It's almost like you could wear it as a perfume. Yeah. I'm going to put it on. Can I put some on? <laughs> oh, sure. I'm like a. Try like a musk or something yeah. like that. Yeah, is that okay? Oh, I'm definitely. see what it does to my skin. It's kind of appealing. I've never just put it on. Yeah, I know. You don't. Hmm. It's kind of a lemony. You know, and in cooking, that does smell good. I know Isn't that kind of yummy? Right. Because if you look, Woody's spicy and sweet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Now, Dr. Hill has said coriander, well, okay, coriander and cilantro are very different. Mm -hmm. So, but yet in cooking, I would see Switch it out. use interchangeably. Yes. So, um, but, you know, for essential oil purposes. Yeah. And, <laughs> I like how it smells for my right. food, but. Right. But sure. I wouldn't wear cilantro. <laughs>
Yeah. Oh, that is so yummy. I think that was in India when they would do that. Uh huh. So the body systems that are affects emotional balance, mm -hmm. cardiovascular and hormonal systems. So I think that combination of the emotional and hormonal, and it influences sexual energy, enhances relationships. It may help stimulate the adrenal glands, calming, relaxing, and may alleviate anger. So that's very good. great. That's wonderful. I took my troubles down to Madame Rue. You know that gypsy with the gold cap too. She's got a pad down a pretty floating pine. Selling little bottles of love potion number nine. I told her that I was a flop with chips. I've been this way since 1956. One that I've used a lot, um, not during my pregnancies, but before and after my pregnancies, because it's very good with um, hormonal balancing. Um, it's a it's a different smell. It's not like when you drive in the sage fields in different mm -hmm. states, you're like, oh, this is sage. It's not even the same, right? So we're, when you smell sage and like when you're driving through somewhere, you're getting the whole bush, right? And sage comes from um, the steam distillation from the flowering plant. And I'll show you this right here. So that's the flowering plant. Pretty. Um, yeah, you could eat. You think you could eat it? Looks like something you would want to eat. Um, so you really wanted to know about clary sage. Well, that's yeah. So clary sage is a lot of a lot of fun. It helps with um, well. First of all, you can take it um, aromatically, topically, and internally, and then it's any type of hormonal, male or female, you can use. Um, it's in the clary calm. There's the roller blend clary calm. And that's fabulous for menstru uh, menstrual cramping or mm -hmm. headaches and stuff like that. I just put it right on my ovaries, and I know, or if it's strong, or if I need it stronger, I I apply apply more clary sage, just neat on my skin. Um, so it hot flashes. It's really good for hot flashes, impotence, um, impotence. Um, infertility um, and that's one of the reasons why I used it to get pregnant so I could have the balance and not have the infertility issues um, and then let's see um, it is the historical uh, I wanted to read the French myth, um, uses which is bronchitis cholesterol frigidity genitalia hemorrhoids hormonal imbalance impotence um, Infections, intestinal cramps, menstrual cramps, PMS, premenopausal, and weak digestion, which is really cool. Like that's not just the primary uses. That's that's been being used for years and years and years. So it's and they've had a lot of success with it. Um, let's see. It's a good blend with. Bergamot, any of the citrus oil, cypress, geranium, and sandalwood. So, so there you, you go. Very yeah. Good. And I'm going to cook with them all. <laughs> right, <laughs> now that we know. They all were <laughs> AT or TAI. So they were all oh. topically, aromatically, and, and uh, internally. So, so yeah. we're going to. Eat it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ciao. Okay. Yeah. And I love to say something about Clary Sage. That I had a that was my first aha moment with DoTerra. I had just gotten the Modern Essentials book 
I had gone to my doctor and I had realized that I was having hot flashes that were waking me up at night. And I asked her, she's an internist, what can I do? And she said, welcome to the age and stage that you are in life. And I'm like, what? I'm young. You know, like, why would this be happening? And is there anything I can do? And, you know, long conversation shortened up was, no, you know, age and stage that you're at. Came home, looked at this book, got uh, Clary Sage. There was a recipe in there at the time, but it was before the Clary Calm. Mm -hmm. Got peppermint and Clary Sage, followed the recipe, like what you're doing with the thyroid, and they went away. Wow. I was shocked. And then after about six months, like I did, you know, there's the recipe that you might use for like, you know, a month. So I stopped. They, they, were, they were gone for like probably six months to a year. They came back again. So then I went back on, you know, like, oh, wow. okay. And now if I do have a hot flash, it's just like a little warm. I call it like a warming flash. Like, so I don't. I haven't used it since, and I, that that right there made a believer out of me. Yeah. I'm like, this is huge, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. I get good sleep at night, and it's oh, great. Yeah. Yes. It's fantastic. Yeah. Love, it. Love potion number nine. think it's not I wouldn't consider it an aphrodisiac but I think it would bring your body into balance and create uh, more synergy in your body and more uh, homeostasis in your body so it's working the way it should and we didn't mention it tonight but I want to because I think it's very valuable to bring a balance in every aspect of your body um, it has I believe nine different oils in it and um, I've been and it's the um, it's the lifelong vitality and they're the supplements and I've been using them for I believe three consistent years and uh, they work. They, I feel amazing, and I used them as my prenatal vitamins. And there's been a lot of success with people having um, um, back pain, getting rid of back pain, um, blood issues, you know, blood pressure, and or low blood pressure, and then also um, what am I thinking? The itchy leg or the move leg. Leg syndrome. Less, oh, restless, restless, leg. restless leg. Mm -hmm. he, there's That's a on page 13. Yeah. The, So that is another thing, and where you're trying to, like, think hormonal balance with aphrodisiacs, yes. like that's, you know, there's, there's more to an aphrodisiac. It's really balancing your hormones and calling out what your body is needing, right? Yes. So if you want to consider something a little deeper and a little, and it would work um, through your whole system and not just like, oh, lemon, you know, oh, let's do sandalwood tonight. You know, like it would completely change who you are. I, I believe that 100%. Awesome. Yeah. And the great thing is, is Linda can show you how to um, get the life on vitality, uh, the price that we get them at. And she There's a money back guarantee, 30 day money back guarantee. You could take them all. If you don't like them, take them back, right? 
how awesome is that? And it's the number one selling product of Terra Hives. And to date, I think it's less than a, I, um, a couple, a couple years ago, it was like 25 bottles that have been returned, right? 25 people out of thousands, like hundreds I mean, just of thousands from me, I bought three years worth, right? And my husband, yeah, right? So, like, just times that by what are we at? Up in the 500,000. 507, no, 700. Oh, is it 700,000? Yeah. Okay. 700,000. Wow. Yeah. People. And I've tried a lot of vitamins, but do you see how they have, like, um, well, maybe it doesn't list at all, but, like, especially that essential oil omega complex, the EO omega, mm -hmm. it has about, what, seven or nine different essential oils in there? I think it's nine. Yeah. I can get it out of my cupboard. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, a lot of times you think, well, how am I going to get all of these internally? They've done it for us. And I think they work, and Dr. Hill has talked about synergistically, how the herbs and these vitamins, minerals, and supplements work with the oils. And synergistically, it makes it to be like a more, like more potency mm -hmm. and more yeah. like alive. Right. Like like your body's like, oh, I know what to do with that. Yeah. I need that, and I want that, you know? Instead of putting, like my husband, he just insisted on Costco vitamins, and it drove me crazy. And I was like, well, at least let's go to Whole Foods and get a Whole Food vitamin, you know? These, these are Whole Food um, supplements. And I finally, this last year, like, Sneakily switched them over. Like I just didn't buy, I didn't replace <laughs> the <laughs> Right. And then I just started filling up his vitamins, and he started taking them. And he's never asked to take Costco again. And he's noticed his knees. He's a huge skier, and he's noticed his knees. They don't hurt like they used to. I remember last winter, I was needing to rub his knees every day. You know, and put the deep blue on and make sure I I've only heard him complain maybe once. Yeah. So cool. So are there three different ones? Mm-hmm. So do you take one of each of them? Two of each. So two it's, of each it's of a them. complete mm -hmm. system and you can choose to take the whole system or you can buy one, okay. right? So there's um there's all of your fish oils, so all of your omegas, six, three and nine. And then you have the supplements. So it has all of your daily supplements that you need. Then what's cool, and this is what you won't get anywhere else. Well, I can't say that 100%. But this is where um, it's really neat is they have a cellular complex, which is going in and repairing your cells. Um, so it's just amazing. Like, just Instead of kissing everything inside But when I kissed the cop down at 34 and Vine He broke my little bottle of Love Potion number 9 Love Potion number 9 Love Potion number 9 Love Potion number 9 Is mostly just good energy, oh, and I great. love that they already have the oils in them. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, right. thanks. Yeah, digestive, and yeah. Things. digestive. Um, yeah, so it's really cool. Like, they're um, it's at least worth trying. But if I would tell you if you choose to try it, I would commit. And have Linda show you how to get it on um, Lilt Rewards. And I would commit to at least two to three months. That's that's what I think. Some people, um, they're like, oh my gosh, I can tell in one week. You know, right? And then others, it's just, it's not slow. They just don't notice it. But then all of a sudden they're like, I feel good. You know, oh, what did, oh. 
oh, it's the vitamins, right? So, but I think of it like we've done how much damage to our body, right? So for me, it's almost 43 years. I have 43 years of damage that I've done to my body, right? I can't say Or that. happy use of your body. Well, right. well you know what I'm trying. Person. You know yeah. I'm trying to get out, yes. right? right? So if you are taking it and you're like, oh, my word, these aren't working. Well, if in two weeks it's not working. Well, we're trying to repair 40 years but we're trying to re, you know heal those cells and heal put that nutrition back in and, and heal the joints and the paint back pain right so so you got to think of it that way too if you're having a lot of issues you might see a difference real quick but if it, you're you're just like yeah, you know not too much you know it might take a little bit longer that's nice how I see it. A lot of people say how they notice it is when, because they slowly ramp up like what you're talking about, like where the vitamins and over the first month, two, three months. And then they think, well, you know, like, I'm good. Um, I'm good. Get yeah. off it. And then why are you taking this? And then they go, oh, oh okay, got oh, it. Right now I'm noticing a huge difference if I miss. And Darren will say, did you take your vitamins? <laughs> <laughs> right. And I'll be like, like, oh, baby. Right. But, you know, it's it because, you know, I'm just pulled here and there. with I have two little babies, and so I don't always take them faithfully at night. That's when I get really tired. Mm -hmm. um, and so I notice if I'm missing it. And then I'm like, oh, okay. I, I'm noticing it. I'm getting more tired, so I start taking it. And I don't, I haven't really slept for two years. Yeah. <laughs> I right. That's <laughs> right. With That's me. Well, so, thank you so thank you. much. Yeah. Yeah. It's so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. And I'm sure I'll see you guys soon.